Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Factorio, shall we? Continuing our complete beginner's guide. And what I think we need to do, of course, is expand our operation, but we're going to do so uh, in a way where we try to learn and upgrade our assembling building techniques. So right now, um, our power is fine. Absolutely no problems with our grid. So that's nice. Our buses are coming through with copper and iron. And let's look at what we'd want to produce. So right now we're making red science and we're making gears. And that is all. All right. Of course we have plates. But let's start getting into the habit of making everything so that whenever we need something we can just run over and grab it out of a storage box. So I love to store things for future use in boxes and just keep a supply on hand for myself so that I don't have to craft things by hand. So we're going to go ground up. Some of the most common things that we're going to need are inserters, okay? Um, we're going to need transportation belts, underground belts, splitters, you name it. Uh, eventually we'll want to build all of these things. I usually actually don't build um, power pole automation for these power poles because you have to have wood to do that. So I, they're really fast to craft by hand, but most other things I do. So let's just say, for example, we, we don't have any inserters on us. So we have one. <laughs> so we want more, but we need circuits to do that. Ah, we've hit a little block. So one idea could be that similar to how we're making gears we could make circuits right in a location and we do want to do that we do want to have circuits ready to go but instead i'm going to kill two birds with one stone and show you a technique um, which i'm still trying to get better at in my own planning which is building things on demand uh, within a particular node or sector of your factory all right so let me explain what i mean uh, all i need to build uh, if i want to build circuits by the way um, are copper cables and i can't build copper cables because i only have one plate so we could easily just go pick up some plates uh, from our box where we're storing them and then well we can make uh, so many of these so i'm going to just click to make a bunch of circuits and then um, we can say hey i want like five inserters okay great um, and do I have any, I don't think I have any assemblers on me actually either. So let me just go ahead and make some of these. Fantastic. All right. So what we're going to do is take an assembler. Oh, I got to wait for these to craft up. And we're going to just start to automate inserters. I'm just picking one arbitrarily. You can do it in whatever order you like. All right. So I'm going to just pipette this, okay? And to make inserters, uh, we need, as we just looked at, iron plates, which we can get off our bus. We need iron gears, which we can also get off the same bus by processing the plates. And then we need ourselves some circuits, which we're going to get from these plates. So, interestingly, let's start going through the motions of making this happen. All right, so I'm going to need to do a double whammy to get this going. And I'm going to give myself some space. I'm not going to put it exactly on here. I'm going to start it here. Sometimes I like to build everything really tight to the, to the main bus, but I want to have plenty of space, okay? Because what I need to do is actually kind of um, a lot. I need to split, and I need to split. Right, because I need both of these coming up here. Remember, if I want to make circuits, I need iron plates and copper plates. So this is a, a huge drag on iron plates. You can see that inserters take iron plates three ways. Right. So this is like a really good lesson in why iron plates uh, are so important. Now, copper plates will become even more important. You need it all. All right. So the first thing we want to build um, is... Let's just say we want to build circuits first because it takes copper, whereas the rest of this recipe uh, for the inserter does not take copper. All right, so here's our copper. 
And what we're going to do is we want to build circuits. I'm going to build circuits on site. I need iron plates and wire to do that. Okay. So instead of saying this, no, 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 let's move back up the chain, click this and let's do wire. Wire we can do easily. Um, I'm actually going to pick this up. I can move this a little bit closer now that I'm here. And to be honest, you know what? I overthought this. I overdid it. I only need copper for these circuits, so we don't even need the splitter. We can just pull right off the line, right off the bus. We'll just do the copper here like this, okay? And we'll take an inserter and we'll say, hey, give me these. And we need wire just like that. So this is going to make us wire, okay? Now, it's not going to make us a ton of wire, so we're going to need more of these. So I'm going to pipette this. Actually, let's have even more fun. We need power pole right there. Okay. Um, we need to go this, have that go the right way. And then I'm just going to push control C and I'm going to copy this. And we're just going to go paste, 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 paste. I'm going to make... I'm scaling, I'm starting pretty large right here, okay? And I'm not saying that this is the way that you should build your factory or anything like that at all. I'm just, this is just how I'm building mine. And I'm going to start off knowing that um, I want a lot of circuits. So I'm going to make circuits and some things that take circuits right here. One of those being inserters. Now, not all of this needs to be that, but we're getting there. Oh, we finished some research. Great. Uh, let's finish this research. And we're almost done with just the strictly red research that we can access. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is something a little sneaky. I'm going to... Curl this around and go backwards. I'm going to hold left click. So I build this underground, and now I'm going to send iron plates up this way. Okay? Um, and we need iron plates. To go across. For all of these, so that we can make circuits. Mm, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Silly me. Not yet. Not yet. Let's slow down. All right. So what we want is we want a assembler right here that is going to make circuits for us. And then we can take an inserter right here. Okay. Put a power pole here. And then this doesn't even need a belt. The inserters can just hand the wire into this. Okay. And then now what we want to do is bring this up and around like this so that we can um, pull these in here. We need a power pole here. And now we have ourselves some circuits. Okay. Now this is going to require a little bit of finesse. So I'm going to make some more long-handed inserters. What we're going to need to do is take these out like this um, and start dumping circuits somewhere. All right. So circuits then. Can come out. Here, maybe. And then we need to make another factory that makes inserters. But we're not done yet. And what do you mean? We're not done yet because I need to make four inserters. I need gears. Okay. And I also need plates. So this means that mm, I'm going to have to do some work <laughs> like this. Uh, and this is a bit strange. 
Let me build this first. Do I want to do it like this? Hmm. This is fun. Okay. So, at this point, I know that. Hmm. Inserter, what do you need? Plate, gear, wheel. Okay. I can make a assembler that the the issue I'm running into is uh, with this strategy and this is the fun of Factorio is like theory crafting this I am making this from the ground up I am not doing something I've ever done before I'm trying a new design um, and seeing if I can use the technology that we have, uh, I kind of have to erase my access to certain technologies and then go back and just try to make this work. But if I want to keep this pattern going, then I can't build a gear factory here because it will throw things off. But maybe I don't care about that uh, for the time being. Maybe... No, here's what I'm going to do. This this will work just fine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and um, put this here. And this is going to make me gears. And we're going to take an inserter. No, oh, we're already at inserters. Sweet, fancy Moses. Soon we'll be making inserters, and we won't have to go through this painful process. But anyway, I'm going to take plates... And I'm going to put gears. Okay. So we need a power pole. Uh, this will do. All right. So this is going to start making gears and dumping them on the bottom of the line. And then what I can do. All right. Um, further down the road. Is make inserters. Now I'm not going to scale this up insanely. Uh, and the reason I'm not going to scale this up insanely is because I don't need to. I don't need that many inserters. So um, I'm actually going to delete this ghost. Now, I wish I could say I had things all perfectly planned out in advance. Uh, but that's just not how I play Factorio. I'm a very um, organic uh, and player. I, I, I just don't think perfectly in factorio terms so i end up making pretty quirky designs now that being said i want to show you instead of just like scaling this over for everything that might need copper wire and everything that might need circuits and everything and trying to to mastermind uh, a really efficient system like that instead what i'm doing here is just gonna i'm gonna show you different ways uh that you might you know think about building a factory system but anyway now, okay, we have pretty much everything we need if we want to make inserters. We can still scale this up. One of the things you want to do in Factorio is be sure you're trying to leave yourself space so that if you want, you can add some more and scale up the rate. Now, that being said, for this particular item, we just don't need to do that, okay? So I'm just going to say, you know what? take this right here this is going to be inserters okay and all i need to do okay is take these plates up here and take this line here oh oh sorry not there messed that one up one more. I need one more space for the inserter. Like that. Fantastic. And we're going to take a power pole. Well, let me put the inserters first. I just need to grab, and I need to grab. And then we need to output. I'm not even going to put these on the belt. I'm going to put these right into a box. Just like that. Okay, and we need power. 
and we'll probably yep we'll need power on both sides like that and then now you can see this is going to make for us what we need eventually there it goes it's waiting on gears so it actually because it takes um time i'm gonna click this i don't need it to make full inserters okay um four stacks of inserters is just fine so i'll close that off but i will show you this we've already upgraded our research okay and what that has allowed us to do is to make faster inserters so i'm actually going to make um five of these and they're really easy they just take circuits and plates uh and we had some of those and regular inserters and i'm going to go ahead and put these uh, on my main line, I don't need any of... Oops, you have to push middle mouse button to clear these out. I do not need or on my lines anymore, my action bars. I'll put this here. And I'm going to replace this inserter with a fast inserter. And you're just going to see that basically this thing goes a million times faster. Okay? And this is not entirely necessary uh, because this process of crafting goes f takes a while. But you'll see that... like this is waiting um, on items and the problem is it's not getting circuits as fast as it would like so what we can do is try and improve how many circuits it's getting okay and this is all about fiddling with the ratio it's not going to matter in the long run that this is waiting on circuits but if you wanted to speed this up what you could do is just add another factory that's making circuits right here okay um and all we need to do is just take a little line okay like this and just say give me these and let me get some inserters while we're here hey there's a bunch and go here and then we know that these also need this. And we need a long handle like that. And then we just put some power in here. And bam. We're increasing the rate at which we make circuits to hopefully keep this operation running smoother. We want it to basically always be crafting. And you could just watch it work. You see how it's red? It's like, I don't have this part. But now we've almost got it to where it's like crafting with much more aplomb and frequency and that's perfect uh, we're done researching so now our next project is to get green science okay i'm going to pick up these inserters and be happy we've just automated inserter uh, so now let's work on transport belts by the way greens look at this green science it takes transport belts and inserters so wait a minute what does that mean well, what that means is we're going to actually pull off these inserters to make more green science. And we might, in fact, need to scale up how many inserters we make. But that would not be difficult for us because we have the wire, the circuits, and the gears. We just need to add more gears and more assemblers, okay? So we have a station that's set up. We could rearrange this and optimize it, but for now, this is a good start. Let's try a different build, okay? Just thinking about things for... Um, oops, I need to make some assemblers. Making our conveyor belts, okay? Now, the conveyor belts are actually just much easier. Um, they just take iron only. So, one thing we can do is just use this existing belt that we are already um, have split off the main bus and make ourselves what we need. So... What do we need for this? Well, we need gears. So we want more gears. Okay. No problem. In fact, okay. Yeah, well, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this. Okay, let's just do something a little different. 
I was going to try to, like, synchronize them, but it's fine. All right, we need gears. Great. Okay. So these can be gears right here. Gears are easy. They just take this. All right. Now, what, what else do we need? We just need plates, and we need gears. So... If we peel this off, okay, and I'm actually going to do something kind of fun, which is let's go ahead and just run a line over like this, okay? Now, we might have to space this out slightly. Yeah, we'll space it just a little bit differently. Here you go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and this is going to be my gear line. And it's just going to run up like this. We need the plates going like this. Um, but we don't want these to actually touch, because we don't want that. And so this line will be delivering gears. All right, and this line is plates. And we're going to go ahead and just start this process up of making these. So this requires some plate power and a recipe. All right, now we got a bunch of gears. We got to put these somewhere. Let's put them down here. Let's get some power. Just like that. Now for belts, well, these are easy enough. but we're out of belts, amusingly. Um, okay. Now, belt. All right, we say, hey, we want you to make a belt, and you need this kind of stuff, and you need these kinds of things. So let's go ahead and just get that going. Now, the simple thing to do here would be to just box these up. But what if we want to start making green science? We need this and this. Let's do it. These can't make any more. So um, we need to basically consider where we want to put these. And it's an interesting question. And I know the answer. I'm going to take this. Like this. Okay. I'm going to take a long-handed. Put it up here. And I'm going to take a belt. That sends these over here. For now. I'm going to power this up. Right there. Now, in the meantime. Because I know that I want these. Alright. I'm going to just build a little guy that just puts these in a in a box. Now again, I don't need an infinite amount. Uh, I do want more than four, though. You tend to go through belts a lot more. Okay, then inserters. Okay. So now we have a small-scale operation that's making us, you know, belts and inserters. But let's scale this up because we know that we want to make green science. So you can see right now, like, we're getting some inserters in here, but not very many. So all we'd have to do to scale this up, okay? Uh, by the way, Check this out. And this was kind of part of the plan. I'm going to actually dead end this like that. So this will drop all these extra gears over here so that we can use the gears for this. All right. Now I'm going to instead, uh, we're going to kind of bring this belt up. And I'll have everything that, that I want to make green science with. Just Let's just randomly say over here. 
okay, on this belt. And on the one side will be conveyors, and on the other side, all right, um, we're going to have inserters. So that's not too hard. Uh, I'm going to pick up all these inserters, and I'm going to break this and break this. And what we're going to say is we want you, okay, to put your inserters on this line. Can you do that? And they can, but they put it on the wrong line. Okay, now that's not going to work. I lied. All right, let me get these off. Sorry. It's okay. We can... We'll... Uh, We'll contort this to work properly. I want one lane to be inserters and one lane to be that. So all I have to do, okay, um, for this to work, it's pretty simple, is uh, yes, okay. I need to go like this. Okay, have that curl. And then there they go. Yay! <laughs> but we want to scale this up. We're not making enough. So first of all, let's make one. Um, and we can't fit another one in here, which is tragic, unless we do the magic, which we will. Now, this doesn't actually solve our problem, alas. Uh, we need to move it over, but then even then... Oh, no, we could still do it. This still works. Never mind. We've got it. Just like that. And then now we can pip at this, and... There we go. Okay. Okay. So our goal here is to basically say, I need you to make belts. I need you to make belts. <laughs> ah, so fun. What a game. Silliness is what this is. All right. Now, there's going to be a lot of Factorio players who have their basic designs in mind, and they do things the same way or similar each time because uh, they've got it down to a science. I do not. I like to experiment as you can see, just kind of have fun with it. And we're just going to pull these off. Great. Okay. So now all I need are these to send that. And send that. Unfortunately, we need power. So I'll just pipette a power pole and put it there. Um, okay. Now we have a tremendous amount more of belts coming through. But we need more inserters. Okay, so we're going to go inserter, inserter, and we're going to take this line down like this, and we're going to take a handle like this, and like this, and then you will be inserter, or we can just shift uh, right click and shift left click, and then just bring up this line of plates like so. Take these, take these. Let's get some power poles going. Okay. Now, the only thing is we're missing a bit. Let me just stand right here and take some belts for myself. Um, oh, this is actually... Well, to be honest, this is okay. It's storing both. So now um, they'll live in that same container, which is honestly okay. Um, now... At this point, all we need is to bring this up so that this can have access like this and like this. And now we are making everything that we need for green science. Pipette. Right? One, two, power pole here, here. And we say, hey, Green science. Green science. <laughs> there it goes. 
Now all we need to do with the green science is send it to our lab, okay? In the same way that we have red science going. So we'll just take a line up here, all right, and do that. Power pole, there it goes. Now you'll notice that a bottleneck is become circuits. Even though we made some more circuits, we don't have enough, okay? So, um, quickly, I'm going to say, what's the problem? Are you waiting on wire? You are. So we don't want to draw wire double from this. Let's go ahead and just uh, make some more assemblers. And um, I'm going to just pipette this. Uh, we got to tear up this power pole like that. And be like, hey, here you go. There you go. And oop, turn that around. There you go. Now this should help somewhat, but we're gonna need more circuits than this. Okay, now I blocked myself from getting circuits kind of, but it's okay because we can just make circuits and send them along to help out. But to be honest, these are getting everything they need. They're actually quite slow. So we can... What I like to do is you can just build more and then test how strong your factory is. Like, how much are you making? Are you making enough? I'm going to just... Um, I'm going to delete this top portion here so these don't intersect. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to send myself a bunch of belts. Uh, I'm going to make this even more open considering like this okay and we're just going to drag that out drag that out okay and shift right click left 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 uh, Q boom 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 more green science. There it goes. They're all working. It's a beautiful thing. And we can then just pick this up and bring it down for delivery right here. Just gonna put it right next to it. Remember, they will daisy chain. And this allows us to push T and start some green science research. And what do we want? Um, how about some energy electric distribution? We can make different power poles. That looks good. Let's click on it. And we're gonna start the research, but we can't get there until we get the green science. And here it comes. So you'll start to see that you run into a difficulty that this just takes a long time to make. There's no problems with the amount of inserters or belts that we have. The problem is that these take a while. So what we can start to do um, is research better assembling machines for one. We can also just add more. We can say, hey, and we have built this operation so that it can continue to scale over. We just do this, shift, and like that, and then here's more green science. So, as you can see, we have green science going, but it's not perfect. We need more circuits. You'll always kind of need more circuits, um, but that's okay. We can easily adjust this to get ourselves some more circuits. Um, and all we need to do to make this happen is pick up the circuits and feed them over here in some way, right? Well, how do we do that? That's a little bit more difficult. But 
but we can figure it out. It might require some reorganization, but for now, none of these machines are waiting. They all have plenty. So that means we can go even further and make more assemblers and make more green science. So everyone, we just made a new factory line where we experimented in two ways, where we started pulling items off of the main bus, plates, copper plates, iron plates, used it to make wire, then circuits, then gears, then plates to make inserters and belts. We're storing inserters and belts for ourselves right here if we ever need them, and we're making them to push up to green science. Belts are easy, inserters are harder. We're gonna need to get ourselves even more wire, which we can do, and then make circuits. But then the problem is, how do I get my circuits to this interior belt over here? And that's a little bit trickier, right? But all we would have to do is perhaps rearrange or simply make a new place to um, build inserters and leave everything else as is and put the inserters on the top part of this belt and we'd be gold. It's a puzzle, this game. It's a puzzle for us to solve and explore. I did not do it the perfect way. I did it a way. And we can tear it down by right-clicking and putting it back in our inventory without any loss. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this research, start research, and we should be going along right now. You can see the green science is actually backed up. Now, you see all of our facilities are daisy chaining the red and the green science, and it's working beautifully. Even though we do have green science, I can't leave it like this. It's okay, but it's a good lesson to say, all right, we started, we had a plan, and the plan was to just make one place to make inserters. But then we realized we needed a bunch of inserters for green science. So instead of trying to retrofit this, what I'm going to do is make this entire location a place to pre produce belts, both for me to have to build my factory and to feed the green science. So we're going to just do a Factorio 101 lesson, which is understand you've made a mistake and it's time to clean up and put this someplace else. So we're going to just pick everything up and move the business of inserters to a new location. Okay. We'll keep the gears where they are for now. All right. So let me just pick everything up. And at this point, we're going to kind of um, go ahead and we don't need this. So we can transform this to be more symmetrical and just be a better belt factory. Okay that will concentrate on outputting belts to the green science. So we can just replicate what we've got, right? Take these down, make this a little easier on ourselves. Uh-huh. We're going to have a little bit of extra space. It's not going to be as tidy as possible, but it's going to be pretty good. I'm just going to separate that. They weren't going to do anything, but I don't want any funny business. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just shift right and left click those. And here we go. Gears coming out. Now, the gears we're going to feed, obviously, into this path up here. Let's just kind of get as close as this as we want. But you'll notice that, you know... We're going to have maybe a backlog of gears. We'll just observe it. Let's just see how it goes, actually, before I do anything wild. I always like to just sit back and see how it actually plays out in terms of uh, the throughput so that I can adjust accordingly. And 
And there we go. Okay. Oh, that's wrong. There you go. And then you need belts down here. You need you need to actually receive. There you go. Now everybody's making stuff. Okay. So This looks good. Except for the whole I did this backwards thing. So let's just not do it backwards and be correct. And then there we go. Belts. Got it. All right. And nicely, though, once I separate this, um, I'll be able to have this as just a... Actually, I can just take this down and pick up all this stuff. That's fine. And we'll just pick that up. I'm going to put one on the interior here for myself just to hold some belts. And we will give it a, you know... That's good. Okay. So now we have belts being made en masse. And what we need now is to produce inserters and in moss. Sorry, sometimes my mind just trails off as I start to anticipate what we're going to need. So we need to kind of chop down all these trees. Kind of hard to see myself. Uh-huh. Here we go. Great. We need wood anyway, you know. Okay, that should be good. So, my plan is... Okay. Let's just take assemblers and begin to peel off wire. Like we were doing before, and it's, we're almost going to go backward and just do what I had done earlier in an amusing way. Um, okay. I'm just going to pick up a bunch of gears. I need to make some more assemblers. And it's easier if I have the components on me. Okay. So just like we have five gears, let's go ahead and make five wire factories, which will turn into five circuit factories. Um, make some more. All right. And let's just stretch this out. Uh-huh. Keep the bus going down. Like that. All right. So let's play the game visually. Let's just say, okay, this is going to be wire. This is going to be circuit. And then if we have circuits running along up here, okay, then to make inserters, we need plates and we need gears. Well, um... We could borrow plates from this line, okay? But I think it's a better practice to just take it from the bus instead. We could also borrow gears, but again, um, it becomes complicated to adjust the ratio for both demands. So instead, we're just going to make these things on site as much as possible. Okay. And let's get this set up. So, one, two, three, four, five. Just like this. And we'll just kind of throw this down here. Um, I don't want to leave any empty space, so. Good. There we go. All right, now we need inserters to take these off, and we're getting there. There we go. How about that? Okay, um, but we're not done because we need plates. And so, in a wild stretch, I am going to do what I said I wouldn't do. I think it'll be okay, because we can simply monitor this and, and feed it more if we need it. I'll go ahead and just reverse all these. I kind of completely forgot about that. 
and then set it up just like we had it before where we're going to say one two three four um five okay now we say hey circuits all right so now that we have circuits we just need to get gears to put my gears hmm. again I could split these gears but I don't think I am making yeah you could see it's not like it's totally backed up we're still using some of these gears this is about right so instead let's make our own gears by just taking this line here and I'm going to loop it back around like so. And we're going to go, hey, I need gears. And give me some more assemblers. All right, and we'll just start prepping this. And again, I'm building way more than I need uh, for the time being because I want to have a lot of this green science going. We're going to need a lot. Um, but you can build less or you could build even larger the choice is really up to you which is awesome okay so here comes these plates we could return these if we want um, but i think i'm just going to leave it like this and this is fine and then i'm going to put one here and we need all of these to make gears uh-huh and then we want gears to go out like this Okay. Oh, I don't have any more underground belts. Okay. Need to make some underground belts. Let's get power poles up here. And get inserters up here. Uh-huh. And some more power is needed. Okay. Now, um, you know what? We haven't really talked about this too much. Uh, let's go ahead and research um, better assemblers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will give us level two assemblers, uh, which will make stuff faster for us. Now, I haven't really talked about this, but another thing you can do um, if you want to combine belts nicely is to use a T-junction. So let's just do that. Let me set that up. So I'm just going to have this belt that like runs right here, okay, for the inserter. Well, wait a minute. Oh, inserters, how devious. Uh, never mind, I'm not going to use the T-junction like I said. I'm going to do something different. I need plates, gears, and circuits. So instead, what I'm going to do is actually take this line of plates that I said I was going to stop with. I'm going to turn it up. And we're just going to continue this line here, like that. And then have this, um, we'll get rid of that, and just have this... Oh, not like that. Sorry. I want these to drop on the bottom line, but I don't want them to do it like that. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more work. Uh, and this is fine. I'm going to have to go like this. There. There. That forces that to not connect. And now this double line goes onto the bottom. Okay. I could take these away. I'm going to leave that one there, though, because if I take this away, um, it might connect and, and automatically round that for me. And I don't want that. So I'm just going to go like this and I'm going to pick up that. And then these lines are separate. And then now all we need to do is bring this up here.
something like this. Now remember, this is going to be a little bit slower if we do it like this. But the thing is, it's okay um, because... Sweet, we finished automation. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Um, we can speed up our research practices. This is always good, just speed up our research. So there's some of these um, technologies that you research that don't actually give you something new. They just upgrade something that you have. And so this will give you 20% uh, faster research speed. And we're going to be researching a lot. So this is good. Now I'm going to build assemblers. Um, and you can see that we can actually build the faster assembling machines, but they need steel. So we're going to have to get into that later. Um, but anyway, what I can do now is go, hey, hey, just like this. All right, these are going to be inserters. And we're just going to say, I need you to make... Um, inserters for me by the way you can just shift left click and drag to replicate that recipe uh, and we're going to need long-handed inserters okay to peel off of this line and like this Then we're also going to need small inserters to take off. Like that. I need more power poles. Perfect. And then all we have to do is just take this. like that and drop inserters in and we're going to get there for making better green science oh we're out of long hand no problem okay and then we'll just build some power poles here just like that And um, eventually, oops, these are going the wrong way. They're all going the wrong way. That's funny. How about that? There come the inserters. We did it. So we have transformed this to something a little bit cleaner, which is five belt assemblers, five inserter assemblers, all going up here to feed our green science. So we took a mess. It's still a mess, but it's a little bit better. And we can visually see where any bottlenecks are. And everything actually looks to be going pretty well for us. Um, green circuits are in demand, but that's as expected. And these are slow to build anyway. So now we've taken this and transformed it and are ready to keep going and researching now that we've got green and red science coming in more reliably. If we want, okay? Um, because we're getting more science, we can always just uh, split this and then curl this back in to double lane our green science so that we don't back up uh, and are always queued up for research if we like. And now we're rolling. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this guide to be fun and useful. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.